What's up guys, uh, third and final fan cam of the afternoon, obviously disappointing defeat. We've got Pricey on. Uh, Pricey, what did you uh, what did you make of uh, what did you make of the two 0 defeat today? First of all, we knew they were gonna be at us from the start because obviously they haven't got their first win of the season from till now. Yeah. Um honestly, worst performance I've seen town for the season. Worse than Fulham? Uh, I mean, yeah, Fulham just... Fulham were better, Fulham, weren't they? Yeah. Fulham, Fulham were better than us. Honestly, So I feel, I feel like Nottingham Forest were also better than us. But, you know, Fulham are clinical and they scored more goals past us. But, you know, when you lose to a team that's rock bottom of the table, it's it's not good. And honestly, it, the way that we play today, um, I'd say it's on the brink of embarrassment. Really. Yeah, we, it won't We great. were very, very poor. And um, also, I'd like to address, yeah, address that, that. Uh, the fans of Nottingham Forest. Uh, fair play in the stadium, but outside the stadium got really ugly. There's police coming up, there's stewards going up on top of the uh, stairs. What was it you um, just said you saw? Right? I just saw, and me and Billy just saw, um, two fellas um, just starting on this old guy. No reason to, he was just walking up the stairs just there. Um, I was stood on the tops watching him just walk upstairs. Yeah. And this guy, just spat, these, this random guy, just randomly spat in front of uh, a guy with kids. I thought you were absolutely disgusting behaviour by Nottingham Forest fans. You should be ashamed of yourselves if you're watching this. Obviously, we do have to make we do have to make it like obvious that that's not the whole fan base, and that's just no, no, it's not, it's not the whole. They have to ruin it for everyone, unfortunately. It's, it's, it's just to be totally honest, behavior. I spoke to some Forest fans beforehand, and I either said it's going to be a close game. Yeah, or they're going to was, them. I was I was talking to some fans where I was. And they were sound. They were, they were really nice, nice proper yeah. nice fans. But then you get those odd two that just ruin the whole thing. For every team's got them, aren't they? Yeah, but honestly, I thought I was disgusting and I've never seen anything like it after a game yeah you won 2-0 calm down about it get on your coach and bugger off home honestly there's no there was no, there's no need for yeah. that whatsoever but yeah honestly not great um, Swansea away next week we'll be lucky to pull off a draw with that performance if we yeah. carry on like, if we if we carry on like that against Swansea yeah. we'll be lucky to get a draw against them at Liberty and to be honest yeah we did the double of them last season but we didn't go and uh, the last time, the last couple of times we've been to Swansea or down South Wales, we lose. Yeah, it's not been and, great, has um, it? Yeah, to travel over 400 miles to see a performance like that, like we did today, will not be ideal. I would not be very impressed at all. Um, um, and I'm sure most of the away fans will not be either. So I spoke to Blake a couple of times and he said, you know, that we, we, there's no reason why we can't push for that highest spot. But obviously today may be a bit of a wake-up call in the long term. Just spoke to Isaac, another fan who wanted to give his view. Uh, said after today you'd think well uh, in general you'd think maybe like top half but after today pushing you know like really hard to push for sort of uh, mid table what, what what do you what do you think honestly i agree with break like you've uh, you've got to push for the high spot and i mean what well, we're sick we're still sick for after today's performance not sure about other performances from other teams and the points and any of that because uh, I haven't seen the, um, I haven't seen the full results from the uh, championship teams, but uh, I think we're sixth. But you know, still not too bad. Are we st honestly, are we think we're still sixth. Uh, I think we're still sixth. Right. And honestly, I think I saw a thing on t I, think, I saw a thing on Instagram, and I think you heard it on your, uh, your story. At this point, last season we were twentieth. Yeah. In the league. We're seventh now. We're seventh now. Seventh. All right. Yeah. That, that was not is lost. still good going. It's, yeah, it's it is. still very good going and. To be fair, you know, regardless of the result here, I said regardless of the result here, I'm proud of the lads for actually being seventh or sixth in the league. Yeah. Because quite frankly, at this point last season, when we the fans went in, we were 20th in the table. We were in their position. Yeah. And you know, honestly, you can only look, you can only keep the positives because at the end of the day, if you focus on the negatives. Yeah. You know, just, you're not going to find anything positive. But I mean. You know, there are plenty of, uh, plenty of positives to take out of this season, and I'm just staying positive. But honestly, if we play like that against Swansea, like we just did, I, no, well, yeah. I, I, I mean, there is hope. There's still hope, there's always hope. But I'm just saying, we, we, I can only see us getting a draw against Swansea if we play like that. Because Swansea aren't great themselves, they're in bottom half of the table. Yeah. And yeah, they've just lost Steve Cooper to Forrest. And they're not in a great position themselves. But honestly, yeah, if we play like that, we'll get a draw, no more than a draw. Thanks for your time, guys. No worries, mate. Cheers, thank you.